All right, today I'm gonna give you guys a detailed look at this uh, KA2 figure. This is the second time I record this, and uh, the figure I'm showing you is this guy right here, and uh, this is how he looks uh, in packaging from the front and on the back. Mm, welcome to pause and read that, and other figures that are available. And, uh, so let's get him out of packaging. All right, and here's the figure outside of packaging, and uh, he does not come with a base. Uh, this is one of those Mattel um, um, DC Universe classic uh, figure base, and uh, he does come with these two pistols, and uh, they are very rubbery, which I hate. I don't like that. And then uh, something happened as well. Uh, the cape, there's a piece of hard plastic attached to it. I didn't know what that was, so I yanked it off. And uh, I ruined the cape. God damn it. I might have to buy another one. So I don't know yet. But uh, here's a look at the figure itself from the front. And uh, yikes. The head sculpt is uh, actually pretty terrible. Does not look like the actor at all whatsoever. Looks like an old dude. Uh, there's uh, but he does come with a uh, uh, two, well, a couple of pieces of feather and a soft cape, which is nice. His layer too. There's the inside, the outside, so kind of nice. And uh, oh, also metal chains right there on his belt. Okay, I just figured out what this piece is. Uh, this piece. It's actually supposed to go right there. Well, I have one right there. It's supposed to attach the cape to the figure itself. And I guess uh, there was an extra piece and then it got glued onto the cape. Now my cape is ruined. Sucks. But here's the back side of uh, the figure. And here we have two working holsters for the pistols. Let's have him hold them instead. Alright, let's go over articulation real quick. Uh, head is on a ball joint. Uh, shoulders are ball hinge. Elbows are ball hinge. Wrists are... And the wrists are ball hinge. And then waist, there's a swivel. And then these uh, hinge swivel uh, hips. And uh, we have uh, ball hinge knees. And swivel ankles. And he is a skinnier figure, especially around the legs and the arms. To like the detailing they give him, and a uh, paint job is pretty nice actually. It's okay. And check out that belt, belt buckle. That thing's nice. And, uh, yeah. pointy tips and uh but yeah the head sculpt the terrible looking yep there's the figure and as far as his height um this figure stands about 6.75 inches in height if you're counting the hair of that mohawk on his head and uh but uh, if you just look at him side by side, he's actually a little, he looks a little shorter than uh, Kick-Ass. And uh, here is standing next to Hicks. And if I pull back a little bit, there's Iron Man from uh, Marvel Legends. So yeah, I picked this up at the uh, Toys R Us for 1849, And uh, should be out at retail stores now. And uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching.